Good morning. We still have the best camp spot ever. So hopefully it stops raining, the sun comes out, we can enjoy. We're going to show you guys a little bit of van chores we've got going on. Our latches for our drawers stopped latching. Because of the seat, it hits these latches and eventually the screws become undone. So now I have to take out the latch and this piece and I'm gonna put in a new one. This one's a little bit more low profile. So whenever the seat hits it, it hopefully won't get messed up. Okay, so I use double-sided sticky tape to figure out where the, the latches go. And now I'll just screw them in with my little screwdriver. All right, well, I got the new one in. It seems to work really well. And then, and the best part is, whenever this starts to move too much, we can just tighten this a little bit and then do it again and it'll be a more tense latch. <laughs> so nothing will ever move. I think job well done this morning. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I already had some coffee. This morning we're gonna have some smoothies with papaya, banana, and some cantaloupe. Well, a lot of people say to us, live in the dream, and it is a dream, but there's a few menial things that everybody must do in their life. I'm gonna take care of those monthly obligations, paying off the credit card bill, moving money to our debit card, which is through Charles Schwab and has no international fees. It's really great. About every three months, I have to do some taxes. And in regards to my app update I pushed last video, Apple did approve it, so it's live in the App Store now. This update was for my Photo Investigator app, which pays the bills. What really was making more money was another huge app I had that was removed from the App Store. It's kind of a monopoly of power, but it's been two and a half years and that's still paying more than a Photo Investigator. So I'll have to come up with something new. So how's the monthly stuff going? Pretty well, yeah, we spent about 2,000 last month pretty good. All right, got all the monthly things done and the taxes paid. Back to van life. Morning! You're gonna go out? Yeah, there's a, a little area right over there that's calling my name. Yeah, I've been staring at it for a while, I gotta go. He told him he might have waited too long and started to get away here. Baby gravy. Good girl, something says, you know, calm, 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 something says, hike over to a sea cave. Snow's gonna hold down the fort for all of us. Somebody's gotta do it. I mean, she's got a perfect view. This campsite is amazing. So here we go. You. Okay, well that's where we're heading over to the sea cave. The little point in our little neighborhood we have here on the beach. Well, right around that corner is Punta Uva, but clearly from here it's just a cliff. Maybe if you swim you can come in through that sea cave, but uh, Google said it was going to be 18 minutes. We'd have to walk way over there. So we're just trying to beat Google on this one, and it looks like there's a path right here. Might work. Oh 
buddy. I think there's a way. And it looks like we're going straight up and over. I kind of prefer that, honestly. Ooh. Kurt on point. So up here, it's a beautiful little forest and might be able to head this way to the point. Plants growing on plants, growing on plants. And this is the buttress roots. Buttress roots. A crab on the buttress root. Oh, wow. And then I think that's a little termite mound right there. Jeez. What a tree. Now we need to find a sloth. I know. Up here, oh wow, yeah. this is sick. No all trails, no nothing, but we found it. We were right down there. Yeah. It's a big guy. You guys, this trail is super sick over here. There's a rope down to that cliff and we get to do a little bit of a climb, similar to that last section. There's a rope climb? Is this a tombstone right here? A tombstone. Or is it just like a memorial thing. Wow, it looks like uh, he died in 64. His family were the first inhabitants of Punta Uva. Dedicated their life. Wow. For Mr. Hansel and various of his family were entombed in the highest part of the red cliff of Punta Uva. I think that's about where we are. So this really is like a red mud cliff. And now we're way out here on the point. You can see people are surfing here. Point break. And over there, the van should be right there. Hey, Emily! This is Punta Uva. Puerto Viejo is the bigger one. And then, Cahuita. Check out the sea cave. So we have found over here like a natural arch, which is the sea cave, all the way over there. It looks like a super nice swimming hole. And now we've got it all to ourselves since the last people just left. And we've got some surfers over here to watch. What a cool spot we found. Punta Uva. Loaded with urchins in the rock. No way. Here comes the wave!
Well, we took the other way out. This is the next beach over from ours. You see the surfers out there. We climbed up over that point. But it looks like a sweet spot here. The river comes out. So here, Kurt spotted a couple rainbow eucalyptus trees. Sir, really exotic looking tree. Yeah, it looks like Play-Doh mushed together and then made into a tree. <laughs> That's cool. And then there's another one. Feels so much better. Finally got a shower. Feels so good to be clean again. Especially because when we were on the rocks in the sea cave, I totally slipped on the rocks and I scraped up my leg a good amount. But now I feel clean and I brought my shower stuff with me so that I could just get a shower if we did find a shower on the way back from the sea cave. But Danny did not, so I'm all by myself walking back. Danny and Kurt went back to talk to Snow, and I think Danny will come back and get a shower a little bit later. But dang, if, it w if I wasn't so dirty, I would have said that was probably the worst shower. <laughs> it's just like a tube coming out of the ceiling. And cold water, which is completely fine because it's like super hot out. But then like a family came in and someone tried to open the shower on me. And so I showered in my bathing suit. Oh, van life. Somebody did went with Danny and I can already see her looking at me as I walk up. So excited to see my girl. Okay, vamos. Oi. So Danny's gonna try his hand at a little bit of spear fishing with Kurt's spear. Oh, it's called a Hawaiian sling, which, I mean, it's not really, it's definitely not my thing <laughs> because I don't eat fish and I think that the fish should live. <laughs> but it's cool that they have something to do at the beach while they're snorkeling. There's a reef right out there, so. Well, I was fun trying out this thing from Kurt. The aiming is pretty hard. I <laughs> got some shots off. Some fish, you know. Oh, you shot some. Yeah, I never hit a fish. I'll go get a little camera angle of it real quick. Okay. See, see how many fish it ever. Looks like we have a visitor. <laughs> hey. Looks like Danny's going back out there. He's gonna catch the fish on camera. My preferred method, obviously. <laughs> Either way, it's still fun things. Cameras are fun too. And now you can watch the clips.
Back and forth. fish up okay tell us the story you just caught a whole freaking fish yeah pretty much the same spot I got on the video earlier but this time after trying to shoot some fish unsuccessfully all of a sudden there's a big one and got him and just brought it right in quick when I you know thankfully he knew how to fillet it but when I took the rest of the fish back and dropped it it went right to the bottom way out there where I got him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of scary because I didn't know if I should wait there to see what came and ate it or if I wanted to leave. <laughs> so what went through your head whenever the fish flew by you? All of a sudden I just saw a big fish and I thought, oh man, this is my chance. Like it was just so close and big and probably the biggest fish that I saw out there. No way. So now we got it all cut, cleaned, and now Danny's gonna rinse it off. So we got the fish cut up here and putting it in the milk and then panko, we're gonna have some fried fish tacos.
Well, I really got to thank Kurt for letting me borrow his spear thing. <laughs> Havayana, they call it in Mexico. And this is sizzling, smelling really nice. But amazing that there's a coral reef right here next to the van. You don't have to pay anything. Love this spot. time at van camp. Oh, smells good. There it is, about to have some fried fish dinner at sunset. Good job, Danny. Perfect. We got, got yeah, we got the margs being made, salads ready. I'll just throw this on top so that there's no flies. <laughs> and even better, Emily's made some fresh margaritas over here. <laughs> Straight from the sea. <laughs> Anyway. Whoa, uh, how is done. it? <laughs> yeah, it was a really nice day. Finishing it off with style here. But uh, come on back tomorrow, check us out on Curtin Snow's page. And we're going back and forth with the videos. <laughs> Another epic day here in paradise.